Hi to all. I hope everyone is okay. You are all used to the fact that everything is so easy and simple in the video. All the dogs are very obedient, they do the exercise well, and sometimes I understand that some subscribers have their hands down because they can't do anything, and the dog is not behaving as on the video. Therefore, this is a video about working with a Molonois puppy and its owner, so that you can see how the process actually happens and that everything is not always so smooth. So, I think it will be interesting to watch. This is fairly classic situation. The owner proves to us that his dog is hungry, but does not want to take food, because he is simply more interested in the toy. In fact, if the dog was hungry, he would gladly take a piece. We try to change the food. This is the simplest exercise, but one of the most important. It is necessary to concentrate the dog on some exercise, so that he can simply follow your hand with the food. In addition to the fact that food should be tasty, it should be interesting. It should be interesting to catch up with the piece. It's supposed to be a game except with a piece of food instead of a toy. They change in the fiddle style a little, and things begin to move. Без слов пока, не надо ко мне, не надо иди сюда, просто молодец, да не, не, можно хвалить. Отлично, и выдавайте кусочки, когда он догоняет, воу, супер. Хорошо, хорошо, попробуйте его покрутить вокруг оси. Отлично. И вокруг его оси. Вот, хорошо. Вот, хорошо. И выдавайте кусочки каждый раз, когда он сделает что-то хорошее. Отлично. Ну, ничего страшного, надо иногда. Вот, хорошо. Нормально. Arvat. 
It is very important to play the young duck on the ground, so that he does not jump, because this is dangerous for his bones and his joints, until he is fully grown and formed. Notice that when the dog takes possession of the ball, he runs away, and therefore we need the same toy to drive the dog's attention to us. The dog must constantly understand that being with the owner is much more interesting than just laying down and gnawing on the ball. It is also very important to teach the dog to relax with the toy near you. Just to make him stand, you scratch him, stroke him, so that he understands that you are not competing with him, that he can trust you and that he is very comfortable with you. Loud noises always work well to get the dog's attention. This is a very similar exercise, but here we throw the toy into the distance and attract the dog's attention with loud cries and another toy, and so on. One ball flies away, another one appears at us. One flies away, another one appears at us. So that the dog, after grabbing the first ball, joyfully runs to you to get another one. When we loudly rejoice, the dog is much more interested. During this exercise, we see that in fact the dog is constantly distracted from food and thinks about the toy searching for it with its nose. Sometimes, when you limit a dog's freedom and he understands that he has nothing left but to eat food because he has no will to go anywhere, he bear engages in the work process. And now it is so. But this is not enough for a long time, because the dog is simply not hungry and it is impossible to work with food with a dog that is not hungry and we simply do not have this tool. We cannot practice different positions, we cannot properly manipulate the dog, we can make corrections or work with the toy. We do not need correction because we will clamp the dog and he is young. We do not need to order him and do something unpleasant to him, so we decide to work with the toy. The exercise is very simple. We explain to the dog that if you sit down and look at me and concentrate, you'll immediately receive a reward for yourself.
Notice that the dog no longer runs away with the toy, but returns to the person and decides to stay there and relax. A toy is a very cool tool, but unlike food, it constantly overexcites the dog, and in some exercises it is very difficult to work with it. And in general, without food, training is incomplete, so we can only partially practice some things with the dog, and not fully train. We try to practice taking the near position, but the dog is too excited and it is very difficult to do so. We continue to work with the toy, teaching to switch from one passive toy to another active one. When you watch the video, it all seems very easy and simple. When you try to do it yourself, everything apparently becomes a little more complicated. I hope you enjoyed this lesson without lyrics. If so, write in the comments. We'll throw out such lessons 
a little more often. I wish you health, glory to Ukraine.